Awesome. So the first question, could you give give the audience a brief description of of what you do, who you are, what your goals are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we um I run a, a swim school in Warsaw, Poland. And we have around uh, uh, five hundred clients in, in the city. Outside of the swim school, we we organize uh, swim camps, uh, workshops, um, you know, different educational products and projects for uh, for kids and adults. Uh, it's all focused in the aquatic realm, so it's frequently swimming related. That's one of the businesses businesses that I run, and then my other company is a startup in Florida, which uh, creates fitness technology using uh, machine learning uh, to to provide um, you know different fitness. Uh, social, educational, coaching experiences to swimmers on the road. We partner with uh, wearable brands like Polar, uh, Apple, with Garmin. Uh, we create uh, algorithms for for their devices, and then serve the the athletes with with different features and products. Awesome, awesome. So everything related to to swimming, to businesses. Yeah, I'm a, formerly I'm a professional athlete. I uh, I swim for Poland at the 2012 Olympics. I trained professionally for uh, for almost 20 years. Awesome. Okay, and what were your main work related challenges before we started working together? Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was a sense of overwhelming. Uh, that I would feel from all of the, the tasks and things that I need to manage. So there's just so much in in every place on my phone, every piece of software, like the notes, uh, even Notion, uh, Google Drive, you know, I had pieces of my, my mind scattered across uh, my computer and it was difficult to keep track or, or maintain the clarity. Um, you know what to do next on and how to plan plan the projects and how to execute what how to prioritize the date um, every every morning. So it was just a sense of chaos and mess within my mind. Um, and I think it just came from the 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 volume of of projects, the volume of tasks, the volume of interactions, and and it just became fairly difficult to prioritize things. Um. Yeah. So it was just uh just a bit too much, and and I think the the emotion that came uh with that was uh was just, was just a lot of stress and anxiety. Got it. Got it. So a lot of stress and anxiety that were the results of of the chaos, of the overwhelm, of the scattered information across your computer, different tools, different systems, and so on. Yeah, just too much, too much to manage, too much to handle. And how did it impact your your business, your life? You mentioned you were more stressed, but did it also impact your business somehow? Uh, definitely. I think the biggest impact was just the pace of moving forward and growing. Um, mm. I think naturally it was just smaller, something slower. Uh, slower than it should have been uh, you know things were just not getting done as quickly there were projects outstanding projects that were on the uh, on the roadmap but we're not getting to them in time um, so everything the you know the evolution of the business was just uh, slowed down mm. so basically compromised compromised growth slower growth and tell me you already mentioned a little bit uh, what did you try before? We started working together um, to manage all of this. Most of my tasks and projects I would keep in my notes app on my iPhone. Uh, eventually, that list became an endless list of of, of tasks and, and 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 things to do. There was a few hundred uh, tasks that had been unchecked. Um, you know, I'd add 20 or 30 more every day. And it was a mix of a task or a thought. You know, it was just a massive mess that, um, 
you know, eventually I found really difficult to find anything on that list. Uh, I would use some Google spreadsheets occasionally. Um, and yeah, I've tried for, for my companies, I've tried uh, different project management tools like uh, Asana or Monday, but none of them really uh, would stick for, for us on the team. Um, so it was just a constant chaos of, of using all these different platforms and, and losing things and, you know, and, and yeah, missing a lot of the, the tasks and projects and just, you know, kind of drowning and all of that. And you mentioned Asana and Monday. Why do you think they didn't stick? It's a difficult uh, question. I don't know the answer exactly. I would mm. say, to some extent, I think with any new platform like one of those, you you have to go through this period of, let's say, two months or three months where you are very proactive about using it. You're diligent about it. Like you almost have to form a habit of of using that platform, and if you're not uh, if you're not diligent, especially initially as you're onboarding a new piece of software, you're teaching your uh, your employees how to uh, how to utilize it, how to use it day to day, then um, it's easy, very easy to fall off, right? And then I think what was what was unique with uh, with Plusercise and and the Notion project with you was that. Actually, throughout the initial two three months, you're there with with us, with me. You were there to support, you know. So the habit forming was part of onboarding on the process side platform, um, which I think you know at the time where we finished the onboarding, I the the platform was a habit that was built into my workflow, and and I was already onboarding my. Uh, my employees and my workers to also be using it, but but because because of the fact that I was on it every day, and I'm kind of driving the um, the tools that we use within the company, everyone started to use it as well because I would throw things onto the Notion page and then link people to it, and then I would do it every day, and then I was the just like you were to me. Then I was I was the driver of the implementation and onboarding to to my workers. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. And tell me what or why specifically did you decide to work with me? Like what what appealed to you? Um, I I think you know I was on a search for um for something like this for quite some time, and um. Yeah, you know, I didn't know what the what the what the perfect solution is. You know, I I thought, uh, you know, maybe it's one of the the platforms for project management uh would be the solution. But like I said, you know, it wasn't as easy to implement that for a large team. Um, it really takes some effort and, and diligence to uh to implement a platform like that into the workflow. Um, you know, I would I would search for different Notion templates and. You know, it's definitely in the market for uh for a solution like like the like like the one from Processor Size. Um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a problem that I had the the management and the chaos and you know the feeling of being overwhelmed mm -hmm. from the different tasks and projects. So I was in the market for for something that can help me with that, and I I would search for it, and I guess I couldn't find the right one. And eventually, you know, you came across, you were introduced to me by a friend and, um, and it all made sense, right? Got it. Got it. So you were searching for just different project management tools, but it was just too much friction to, to learn it and then to implement it and then to stay consistent with it and to evangelize your entire team to be using it and so on and so forth. Yeah, it, was, it was almost like, uh, like another one of those overwhelming things being added to the overwhelm list you know <laughs> that's why i didn't get done yeah yeah so how was what i offered different from from those tools like what was the difference that you said okay 
Yes, because on one hand, it's also project management, work management, operations, and so on. But you decided to work with me. Yeah, no, I think it's uh, it's the handholding that you offer. So it's not only the tool that we provide, which I think, you know, in itself is is a, is a great tool that actually um, works well for uh, for an organization. Uh, but you know, it's the handholding and the habit formation that that you offer, which I think is special. You can probably find you know templates or, or software that would do similar things for for people, but but you know none of them come with this mentorship and and hand holding initially throughout the onboarding process. I think that's that's what's special, um, and that's what made it stick. You know, it's been six months since we initially talked, and I still use the platform every day. You know, it's my go-to uh, management software for for all the companies that I'm involved with. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that. So just. I want to talk a little bit about the process. So you mentioned your main challenges were just this complete disorganization, the feeling of overwhelm, of chaos, of inefficiency, of endless lists of tasks and so on. And because of that, slower growth. So what were the main things we did to overcome these challenges? If you still remember. It's, yeah, no, I remember. Um I mean, first of all, creating a centralized task list, uh, which is really easy to access and input new ta uh, tasks onto the list. And then secondly, a neat way of organizing these tasks into projects. So, you know, the task list grows, right? There's always new things that come up, but then, you know, you're not going to be able to accomplish all these tasks easily, right? So instead of the tasks, just hovering and, and, and you know and being endlessly on the list of tasks, you get to organize them into projects and different mm -hmm. outputs they're aiming to, to accomplish your goals. Um, so you organize, you, you know, you you get to centralize the tasks and then you get to organize them, right? Which I think is eighty percent of um, you know running a neatly organized business is what are the goals of the business you know what are their current projects who is responsible for them and what needs to be done to to finish the project right and the system just organizes that really well neatly into into one system where entering the task is seamless putting that into a project assigning it to a project or a person is seamless and then tracking the outcomes of those projects got it got it so yeah greatly Greatly summarized. So centralizing, so adding all the inputs, then connecting them basically to the big picture, so to the projects, to the goals you have, and then making sure actually those things get achieved or executed um, effectively. Correct. Got it. And what was the impact of this? So how did it impact your, your business and, and your life? Um. <clears throat> It probably gave me more sense of control, uh, more peace of mind, less stress. Um, you know, naturally, if your mind is occupied with, uh, you know, the, like the the your mind is a, if it was an internet browser, um, you know, you start with zero tabs open, and then throughout the day, you open. You know, fifty tabs. There's ideas, you know, tasks, things that, that that you do, and you know, with processized. At the end of the day, you get to organize the tabs. So then the next day you start with zero again. If you didn't do that, then you know you finish the day with fifty, and then the next day you add another fifty, and then you know the following day you add another fifty, and then eventually it's just too much to manage. And the the cost that you pay for that is you worry too much about the things that you're not currently focused on, right? In order to be effective, you need to um, focus on one thing at a time. If you have 50 tabs open at the same time, you won't be able to give enough 
uh, mental capacity to this one thing that needs to be accomplished in any given moment, right? So keeping that organized allows you to have more clarity to get things done. You know, a side effect is also, you know, other creativity that comes with more, with less stress. You know, I think cortisol and stress are terrible for creativity. So if you, you know, if you feel the sense of control, you're less stressed, it's easier to focus, it's easier to create. It's easier to see what's uh, what's to come. You know, it's easier to plan for the business into the future. Got it. Lo love the analogy with the tabs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think a last question or, or two more questions. So you said that I wanted to ask what's about what's unique about uh, process size. You mentioned the hand holding, yes. So that there's somebody who's who's there and who helps you with the implementation and with actually sticking. To the thing is this what was unique about process size compared to other things? I think that's that's the main thing. It's you know the another analogy I would make here is that you know when you're a large corporation and you're on onboarding a new piece of sales software, um, the company creating the software will usually bring and you know an expert that will help your team to be onboarded, there'll be workshops. It'll probably be a process of, you know, a few months worth of um, using the software and different workflows, um, you know, teaching the uh, the employees how to use and utilize the software day to day. When you're a small business, you don't really get that, right? So what process size, what's unique about process size is that it's giving you this customized, personalized product that you also are being onboarded with by by an expert, right? So you get to create the space for yourself, and you get to be uh, handholded by by an expert that will teach you and your team on how to use the platform. So you're getting the benefit of being a large business, but being a small business. Got it. Got it. Was there anything that surprised you about our partnership? Um. No, not really. <laughs> okay. And, and the last question, what would you say to a person who's on the fence, doesn't know whether to buy or is thinking, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Should I do it? It's definitely worth it. You might you might hesitate initially, but uh, I can guarantee that once you um, once you start using this, then you you know you that will come to you 10x whatever you spent on on on, on the product uh, i mean it's super worth it uh, i don't regret it i think um you know i got much more value out of it than i put into it initially awesome great to hear that thank you marcin it was an amazing gotcha. interview amazing collaboration partnership and yeah that's it well, thank you